Leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, says international coalitions claiming to fight terrorism are not trustworthy. The leader noted that the United States and certain reactionary regional countries have been directly supporting the Daesh terrorist group in Iraq. The leader made the remarks during a meeting with the visiting Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari in Tehran. Ayatollah Khamenei stressed that it's unwise to pin hope on the support of uh, the U.S. and Western, Western states rather in fighting terrorist groups such as Daesh and Boko Haram. Meanwhile, in a separate meeting with the visiting Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, Ayatollah Khamenei noted that independent countries can make progress through resistance and reliance on popular support. The leader slammed the arrogant power's policies as the greatest plague afflicting humanity. Ayatollah Khamenei also praised Venezuela's anti-imperialist policies and resistance against the U.S. He warned that Washington is seeking to break the resistance of the Venezuelan government and people. The Nigerian and Venezuelan presidents are in Tehran to attend the third summit of the Gas Exporting Countries Forum. Joining us now on the line from the Iranian capital, Tehran, is uh, Professor of the University of Tehran, Mohammad Marandi. Professor Marandi, welcome to the program. Uh, first off, uh, talk to us about the recent comments made by Ayatollah Khamenei, uh, most notably one, the one focusing on how international coalitions claiming to fight terrorism uh, are not trustworthy. Well, I think the example of Nigeria is, um, is very important uh, to, to point out what he means, in the sense that Nigeria is now facing major hardship because of Boko Haram, which is a Wahhabi organization, and they are very similar to Daesh or ISIL and uh, Al Qaeda, uh, as well as other extremist Wahhabi groups. And uh, it's obvious that countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, um, and Emirates that have uh, that promote the, this Wahhabi ideology are implicated in the rise of extremist uh, groups uh, as well as radical extremism and militant extremism across the board. And therefore, as long as countries like the United States and the Europeans continue to cooperate with these regimes in, as they export both terror and uh, the ideology of the, of, this, uh, of the terrorism that takes place, uh, then uh, there's really uh, no reason to trust uh, the, the coalition whatsoever. Whatever the United States cannot be taken at face value when it 